Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Transformers fans everywhere, welcome back. LPS, Last Prime Speculator, here to bring you some breaking news in the Transformers live action universe. Yeah, guys, you heard it right, breaking news. We're going to be talking about the breaking news involving the Transformers live action universe. And also in this video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10, I guess, plot ideas or focus for this new reboot of the Transformers live action universe, all in order. So we're gonna break it down. Basically what I mean by that is top 10 things I think the Transformers live action universe needs to focus on for their new universe, because it's officially been rebooted. If you're not familiar with this channel, make sure to consider subscribing and hit that bell for that notification squad. This is from tfw2005.com. This is right off their website, and this is where the breaking news came out. So we're gonna read this, and then we're gonna get right into it. Paramount Pictures has officially removed Transformers 7 sequel to the Transformers The Last Night from their release schedule. This news announced today comes as no surprise to TFW2005 members. For Hasbro, mysteriously removed the movie from their schedule a day prior to New York Toy Fair 2018. The news was already out amongst the fans in the community. Paramount Pictures was silent regarding the matter until today. However, the upcoming Transformers Bumblebee movie is set to reboot the series with a new direction. This news also drops the plans carried out from the writer's room for a Transformers cinematic universe, which included 21 story pitches. In addition, the Melrose lot have undated Transformers 7 as the previous date of June 28, 2019. Paramount has hatched a writer's room led by Akiva Goldsmith to hammer out the future of the Transformers movies. The Bumblebee spinoff comes out on December 21st. Directed by Travis Knight, Michael Bay has hinted that Transformers Last Night was his final stint at the director's chair for the Transformers movies. Transformers 7 was put in a placehold on the calendars years ago, and the studio is rebooting the entire franchise in the direction of Bumblebee. At the moment, there's no specific date set on the next Transformers movie following the Bumblebee movie, which is scheduled December 21st. So it's official, guys. Transformers is being rebooted, which I'm bittersweet about this, just because of the giant cliffhanger that was left in Transformers Last Night with Quintessa, Unicron, man, the list goes on. But I'm also happy that they are rebooting this because it's time for a reboot. This, this continuity is all over the place. I'm a huge fan of it, but it's time to reboot this. Apparently, after CinemaCon and all the reviews, Bumblebee has been generating a lot of positivity from CinemaCon. But other than that, now let's get into the top 10 things I want to see in the live action universe. Number 10, IDW comic focused movies. The reason why I put this on here is number 10 is because I think the IDW comics are absolutely phenomenal. If they take the ideas of what Disney and Marvel have been doing, they use, the writer's team uses ideas from the comic books. They use their amazing lore. This live action universe has yet to really focus kind of on the comics and put their own touches on, right? They could take the main plots of the comics and use it for movies such as Dark Cybertron, The War of Ovulus, uh, Monstrosity, Autotrocity, the list goes on. There's so many IDW comics and if they want to have any sort of success, that's a great foundation to start. Like I said, with the release of Marvel Infinity Wars, we've seen the results, what happens when you really do focus on the comics as your plot. It opens up your imagination and opens up to thoughts of own ideas. I think that's very important. Number nine, a Dinobot spinoff. The Dinobots are absolutely beloved in the Transformers universe. Who wouldn't like to see a Dinobot origins, where they came from, their story, their background, their ancient battles with the Predacons and the Insecticons. You could also use Grimlock as a focus and how he rose in the Autobot Empire in a way through the Gladiator Pits. That would be absolutely awesome and a great idea. And plus, Grimlock and the Dinobots are beloved by the Transformers fans. You could also take some ideas from when Shockwave actually captured and created the Dinobots. You could use that as an idea, but I think the Dinobots, a Dinobot spinoff would be absolutely amazing for the Transformers universe and something the fans would love to see. Number eight, Beast Wars. I would love to know the Optimus Primal story. The Beast Wars cartoons is an absolutely phenomenal cartoon. They did it right. I think Beast Wars would be an excellent idea and also give new fans an idea of the amazing lore of Transformers. It's not all just Autobots and Decepticons. Yeah, Beast Wars does have their own story. Also, for Beast Wars, why not make it a Cybertron Beast Wars movie? Like, as in, Beast Wars were the first creations of Primus that actually controlled Cybertron. They had hint of concept art of Optimus Primal in Transformers The Last Night. But I believe a, a movie focusing on Beast Wars and the rule of Cybertron would be an absolute awesome thing to see the barbarians actually control Cybertron and see how chaotic it was. That would be an idea, and plus, Beast Wars is extremely popular. Number seven, War of Cybertron. Who wouldn't want to see a battle on Cybertron? Autobots for Decepticons. 
focus on the actual war of the planet Cybertron. Another thing you could use in the war in Cybertron, you could use the cause of war, the reasoning behind the war, the history. Have fans understand why we are here and the Autobots and Decepticons have been fighting for millions of years. The War of Cybertron would be an excellent way and plus, the fans want to see that. Number six, Megatron Origins movie. I would love to see a Megatron solo movie and what I mean by that is the creation of what made Megatron who he is. His history through the Gladiator Pits and how he rose in his dominance. I would love to see the beginning creation of Megatron and actually witness his ancient battles in the Gladiator Pits and what made Megatron so great. I think that would be absolutely phenomenal. And Gladiator Pit Megatron Origins movie so we could actually know the backstory and it would also help with the character development for the future films. Number five, Orion Pax origin movie. I would love to see an Orion Pax focused movie. If you're not familiar with Orion Pax, Orion Pax is Optimus Prime before he became a Prime. I would love to know the story of Orion Pax and how he became a Prime. I would love to know his personality, his character traits, um, his intelligence, and it would be an excellent way for a character development. Plus, it would give other fans that aren't familiar with the character that knows that Optimus Prime actually was not a Prime at one point. He was Orion Pax. And this would be perfect for the IDW comics. You could go the old school route, which a lot of people are familiar with, with Orion Pax being a librarian. But why not also use the IDW comics as an idea and make Orion Pax the cop, like the, the, the typical hero cop? That would be an absolutely awesome, or put their own touch on it. And it would also be really cool to see all of his ancient archives, the history of Cybertron, the treasures, the studying of Orion Pax. And also, I would love to see, you know, Alpha Trion mentor Orion Pax. That would be really cool as well. Number four, Megatron and Orion Pax political movie. Yes, I would love to see the political side of Transformers. I would love to see Orion Pax and Megatronus as friends in this. This would be something that we've never seen. We're so used to seeing Optimus Prime and Megatron going at it. But how cool would it be to see a political focus of Cybertron, see a different idea, and see the government of the Cybertronian history and what created Megatron to um, basically rise throughout the, the political game, right? We all know he rose to the gladiator pits and then decided to go as a political route to change Cybertron. I would love to actually see the elections. I would love to see the Cybertronians, you know, um, suggesting who they want as their new leader of Cybertron. And also before we got the name Autobots and Decepticons. I would also love to see the corruption of the government of Cybertron. That was the absolute focus for Megatron. He wanted to change the corruption of Cybertron. I think that would be really cool to see Megatron's passion and what made him gain such a huge following through the, the Transformers on Cybertron. And it would be also badass to see Orion Pax and Megatronus, aka Megatron, working together and give us a new idea and teach you the back history of these two characters when they were friends. Number three, the Quintesson Invasion. My subscribers know I'm a huge fan of the Quintesson's origin. I would love to see the invasion of the creators when the Quintessons came to Cybertron, wiped out their history of the Transformers, and claimed themselves as God. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Plus, it would also give the audience another idea and actually show you how far they've come. I would love to see the idea of the slavery of the Transformers and the Quintessons' ideas and what the Quintessons believe as far as their Transformers. Autobots were built for cargo, and Decepticons were built for military. I would love to see the dark backstory of the Quintessons and their idea of their creation of the Transformers. Plus, also the creation of the TCOG. If you're not familiar with the TCOG, the TCOG is what gives the ability for Transformers to transform, and that's what the Quintessons actually created. And plus, it would be really cool for fans to realize and see the dark history of the Quintessons. And plus, it would be cool to see the Transformers rebel against the Quintessons, their AKA creators, and have them wiped out and leave Cybertron. I think that would be absolutely phenomenal as well. Number two, the 13 Primes. Yes, we need a movie of the 13 Primes. I wanna see Prima, I wanna see Onyx, I wanna see Alpha Trion, I wanna see Vector Prime, I wanna see Nexus Prime, Solus Prime, the list goes on. I wanna see their beginning story, the beginning creation of the 13. And what I mean by that is their origins, their story, their powers, their abilities. This would give an idea to show how important Optimus Prime is and also the connection with the Primes. The history of the Primes is absolutely phenomenal. And also, the reasoning behind the fall of the 13 and why they're no longer in existence. 
I think that would be absolutely amazing and also something very cool. And another way to gain the new fans of the Transformers Live Action Universe. Number one, Primus vs. Unicron. Who wouldn't want to see Primus vs. Unicron in a live action film? The creator of the light and the creator of the darkness. The two legends. I think the Unicron backstory and the Primus backstory would be absolutely phenomenal. You could see these two ancient gods go at it, know their story, know their origins. What made Primus decide to become Cybertron and start giving life? And what made Unicron decide that he was the Chaos Dark Lord to consume planets? I would love to see an epic battle between those two ancient gods go at it. Plus, I would love to see Primus in a movie and Unicron. How dope would that be to see the two creator gods and their origin story? And then you could start it all from there. Learn about the 13 Primes and their connection with Primus. And plus, let new fans know that Cybertron is actually a Transformer and is the creator god Primus. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 ideas for the live action universe. I also would like to give a shout out to TF Orion Prime on Instagram. He's one of my biggest supporters. He's got amazing theories. Make sure to follow him on Instagram. I wanted to make sure I give him a big shout out because he's one of my biggest supporters on this channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're a fan of Transformers, we dig deep in the lore of Transformers. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification to stay updated with all the Bumblebee news, speculation, spoilers, and all that good stuff. This is LPS, a.k.a. Last Prime Speculator, here, here to hit you up with another top 10. Peace.